What up, though? This your boy, Big Money Broner, a.k.a. the Seven Mile Destroyer, Isaiah Broner. You're now listening to Wrestling Tears. Taking your way in the world today takes everything you got. Taking a break from all your worries so it help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away? Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. And welcome back to Wrestling Cheers, where everybody knows your name, especially when it's absolution, baby. This is Wrestling Cheers, where we like to talk about things going on with you throughout independent wrestling scene. We preview shows, we review shows, and sometimes we even have interviews along the way. This is a preview of AIW's Absolution 16. I'm your host, Justin Summers, and Wrestling Cheers is brought to you by Midwest Territory. Please rate, review, and subscribe your ever listen to this fine podcast, whether it be Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, or now. Tune in, YouTube, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Amazon Music, or Podbean, WrestlingCheers.Podbean.com. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, Facebook.com slash WrestlingCheers, Twitter.com slash WrestlingCheers, and Instagram.com slash WrestlingCheers. Email, if you so choose, to desire WrestlingCheers at gmail.com. And like I said, this is a preview of AIW's Absolution 16 and... For this preview, doing what we've been doing, having wrestlers come on, and who who else better than the man that's going to challenge for the AIW Absolute Championship in the main event at Absolution? We got Isaiah Broner. Welcome back to the show, Broner. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. It's uh, It's been quite a journey for you here in AIW, you know. Um, you've, you've been around now, what, two years? Uh, I think it'd be two in September. Yeah, like I know, I knew we're we're close to two. Oh yeah, hell of a journey, man. But thankful for every like every every opportunity. It, fl- it flies by, but man, I'm just hella thankful, man. Like very 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 grateful for everything. Really looking forward to Saturday. And you had, you know, arguably one of the best years in AIW last year. Maybe you didn't get the wins that you wanted, like. Three in particular, but having a match against Minoru Suzuki, having a match against Eddie Kingston, and then ending the year challenging for the absolute title. Like, pretty pretty good year. There's nobody in AIW that could even say that last year they went up against Minoru Suzuki and Eddie Kingston. Yeah, I was, man, I, I didn't think the first two matches were going to happen. Like, with me being so, like, relatively new to being in a promotion, but, man, like, I... Like, I, I wouldn't change the outcome or anything or how everything worked out. Like, it was just a blessing to get Suzuki and then to get Kingston and then to close out the year with Josh. Like, it was it was a hell of a hell of a great year for me, but just want to make it even better this year and just keep on getting better and just keep on improving upon it, like the opportunities I get. So I'm, I'm looking forward to continue to build on it. I think the only person in AIW that can contend with those three things from last year, then this didn't necessarily happen last year for them. But the only person that comes close is Dominic Greeny. He's gone against Monero right. Suzuki, but not in AIW. He's gone against Eddie Kingston in AIW, and I think maybe more than once, but at least once as of late. And then I know he's had title matches. Other than that, oh, yeah. uh, there's nobody. That's good company, though. You mm-hmm. know, I'm just trying to... Make the most of uh, every opportunity, like I keep saying. Just give me an opportunity, and I handle the rest of it. As this, it's my mindset. That's how I'm looking at it. Just continue to uh, looking to build on that Friday. All right, let's uh, let's get into this card, and we'll start with this match. Members only versus Two Infinity and Beyond. Members only is a team that has been on the rise, and I've said it before that they have had so many title opportunities in their short career. And that's Mm -hmm. a compliment to them. And they've always managed to stay in contention one way or another. And here they are going up against two infinity and beyond a legendary tag team in AIW. And they're doing an absolution. Like this is a statement match for them. Oh yeah. Like so much, uh, accomplished by two infinity beyond, but 
you know, if member members only want to take the next step and, you know, hopefully uh, bring those tag titles, you know, to them, they, you know, this is a hell of a way to do it. You know, uh, they're, my, they're like my little brother. So I'm pulling for them to, you know, to just show that they deserve to be here. They deserve a bigger platform. You know, they deserve bigger opportunities. You know, you can't, obviously you can't count out to infinity beyond, but, you know, I think members only, I think, you know, they starting to, like the, the wheels are starting to turn for them. So I think they're going to pull this one up. And there's one thing to be said with kind of the, the tag title picture being a little more open than previous with, you know, money shot uh, going up against Bitcoin. Obviously we'll talk about more of that later, but that was kind of like the number one uh, opponents for them with Bitcoin boys being no more. I feel like uh, members only is that team and to go up against the team, like to infinity and beyond pull, you pull out this win, then I don't see why there wouldn't be a uh, tag team title shot coming up, but this is to infinity and beyond. They are mm-hmm. the measuring stick and they've been the measuring stick in AIW for, I think we're like almost a decade, maybe a little under nonetheless, still like a great tag team. Mm-hmm. Like highly, like highly decorated in AIW. So it's just, it's, yeah, it's like you said, like basically the tag division, I don't want to say it's in flux, but it's so much. Um, I think this is like a, the, the, a very clear opportunity for either team to, you know, be like, yo, we're the number one contenders, you know, we right here. Bitcoin boys broke up. Vulcan season has kind of been trying to find their way back since they lost the tag titles. Um, hey, man, this is a hell of an opportunity uh, to you know, state they claim or try to be number one contender for either team. So it's just like uh, members only want to, you know, establish themselves as, you know, they, they, they it's their time. So Infinity and Beyond probably just want to, you know, show everybody that they still, you know, it's still about them. You know, they still can make stuff happen. So it's going to be a dog fight. I know that for sure. And I'm still saying the moment that members only can win the tag titles, that's going to that's gonna be a very, very big moment. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And at, at the rate that they've been going, I I wouldn't be surprised if we see it by the end of the year. Yeah. 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 Uh, I say the same thing. I thought it, I think the last title shot they had, I, I thought they were going to pull it out there. Um, but yeah, like they, they just got to keep, keep, keep getting better, keep improving, keep working, keep making statements. They, they can get this one Saturday. They might be right back in condition to do it. All right. Who do you got? Members only or to infinity and beyond? To Infinity and Beyond is the more experienced, but I got to roll with my little brothers. I'm going to go with uh, members only on this one. I went with members only last month, and uh, I was correct, so I'm going to continue and go with members only once again. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Yes, sir. This one just got announced today of this recording. Uh, Joshua Bishop versus Filthy Tom Lawler <laughs> once again. Hey. They just spin the wheel, or they, they they know is it a stipulation or? Okay, I need to double check this because I didn't see a stipulation. Yeah, there's no stipulation listed on the graphic or on the post. But knowing these two, uh, yeah, there no stipulation is what it will be. As in, there's nothing. There, anything goes. This, this is yeah, just going to be insanity. Pretty much, yeah. it's it's going to be yeah, it's going to be nuts. Cause yeah, I don't even know why they did to spin the wheel. Cause they just, I don't know how many times they spent it the last time, about three times. I think total they've spun it like between both matches five or six times. Yeah. Just like, just to have a crowd pick the match. So yeah, it's both of them, both of them, I think damn mine. So, but it's always, it's always entertaining for me. So. Definitely, I'm looking forward to that one. This is see what the hell they're gonna do or where they're gonna tear up. I mean, they've they've had themselves a ton of matches, even going back to this venue where the ring was tore up. Oh, we saw uh, Hill Jack the Swamp Man. Yeah, that's man, I didn't know what the hell was going on. I just <laughs> saw Swamp Man come from under the ring, and kind of kind of hoping we get a repeat of that. But I mean, you just flat out never know with these two. Yeah, 
it's, it's no, it's no fucking talent. They might get in there and have a technical masterpiece, but that's you know, you know, uh, Josh say your whole guy now, so we gonna see. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna run that casket match back, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I walked back there and saw that damn casket. I didn't know what was going on, but I'm I'm looking forward to it though. They ain't been beating the hell out of each other the last couple of months. Casket, stretcher, coal miner's glove on a pole mat. I mean, there's they could literally just was, pick it themselves. I was, I was rooting for that coal miner on the glove match. Uh coal uh on the pole match. Just because I just wanted to see what it like what was gonna happen when one of them got the uh, the glove. Right. I think one of them I think there might have been like a pure rules match. I kind of I was rooting for that one because I'm like, oh, that no one expects this. What are they going to do? Yeah, it's just unexpected. Like, yeah, everybody wants to see y'all do a doors match or something, but just go out there and do pure rules or do that coal, uh, coal miners match. Let's see what happens. All right. <laughs> Who do you got? Filthy Tom or Joshua Bishop? Uh, shit. Uh, I, I'm going to go with Bishop. That might change depending on what match they announce. But for right now, I'm just gonna I'll go with Bishop. I'm gonna go with the real JCW champion, <laughs> Joshua Bishop. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you there you go. Have a have a juggalo match of some sort. <laughs> and I I hope he brings the belt with him because I want a picture with it. Uh, he probably will. Uh, I yeah. even I even said like before that match happened with uh, the four way at the gathering. It was like, I kind of think Lawler's going to win, but I want Bishop to win. So it's kind of like down between those two. But I, I didn't care, like, of the four who won. Because I thought it'd be great if Janela won or even fucking if Justice won. That's but, why. I, I thought Justice was going to win. Uh, especially with, yeah, I, I thought Justice was going to win. And I woke up and I saw, I was like, oh, well, you know, it, it makes sense. So, all right. Well, you got that going. Bro. So, all right. Thanks. All right. Let's move on to the next one. We got the team known as Wrestling, Brian Carson and PB Smooth versus Dominic Greeny and Shaw Mason. That's a, it's an interesting name for a tag team, for that tag team, but all right. It, it's because they were both trained under Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to let them have it. I'm all right. I'm, I mean, you beat PB last year. Yeah. It's good times. Um, yeah, I haven't faced Carson or Shaw. Um, but just looking at it, I started to, like just judging by the promo, especially from Carson. Uh, it's getting kind of personal between all of them. So I was interested in the dynamic that uh, with Dom coming in, uh, getting involved in it. So I'm looking forward to see what's going to happen. Uh, if they, if uh, wrestling did enough to get underneath Shaw and Dom skin to make them to make a mistake. See what's going to happen. I've, I've said one thing about Dom this year that like, he's, he's on a mission. I don't exactly know what, but you know, he's been undefeated. No one's been able to stop him. Yeah. Um, having him with Shaw is a, is a pretty good team to have. I don't know if PB and Carson can stop those two. They were having an, enough trouble with just Shaw. Now you're adding Dominic yeah. Greeny? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Cause uh yeah, man, he's been struggling. Like with just Shaw himself. So they gonna have to figure it out, figure it out quick. Cause uh it's whatever they had planned, uh the last few albums ain't working for him. So it is just it's gonna be an interesting dynamic. Just I'm I'm real interested to see that. See how it's gonna play out. Yeah, I think with the team of Dominic Greeny and Shaw, that's like, it's going to be really hard for those two to stop unless they got some sort of trick up their sleeve, which knowing those two, it's, it's very well possible. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised by that, but they're going to need it. Like if they don't, you know, it, it might be like a short night for uh, Shaw and Dom. I mean, we already kind of like talked about uh, some of Dom's credentials. Uh, Shaw might not have as much, but he's also only been around a year. So. Yeah, but he, he's been he's been like doing like real solid work since since he debuted. Like hell, he was in uh, had a singles title shot with uh Derek 
um, not too long ago. So mm-hmm. and he's been holding his own. So he definitely has been putting in work. So who do you got between Dominic Greeny and Shaw versus the team known as wrestling? Uh, I'm a little Dominic Shaw. Like, I don't, I don't. Yeah, like, you, you, you had, like, a valid point, man. Like, they've been struggling in singles matches with Shaw. So I don't know if they're uh, they're going to be cohesive enough as a team to, to tackle that. You know, they just they seem flustered, not focused. And then, you know, PB started some shit last year, so I am. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, you know, the, the, streak, the streak continues for him. Yeah, I got to go with Dominic Green and Shaw Mason. Uh, this this seems like the right unless they unless they do something you know they got some trick up, a trick up their sleeve or whatever but I doubt it so Diamond Shaw probably the way to go. All right, let's get into this one. This one will be interesting. Cash is king versus Mikey Montgomery, Sam Holloway, and bulking season. So I'm guessing it's going to be the full Cash is king. So we got money shot. Eric Taylor and the Duke. Oh shit, Duke! Oh shit! Yeah, I've seen. He said he he been he been doing cardio, so they <laughs> they might uh yeah they might have fucked up with this one. They got Duke doing cardio. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. This is like uh Mikey is uh trying to get over the what happened uh last at the last show. I don't even know if he's gonna be close to a hundred percent. To be honest with you, uh, so that's kind of uh, that might be a uh, no pun intended Achilles heel for them. Arthur got blasted with a guitar, <laughs> so so <laughs> I don't know if he if he fully there. So it, it's gonna be interesting, but uh, and that that uh, injury might be dealing with might might have bit off more than he can chew this month. Uh, I mean, it's gonna yeah. be a question if Mikey's gonna be there mentally and physically. You have the uh, you know the tack from Eric Taylor, and that's also going to create some some uh, mental fatigue of just mm. having someone really close to him turn on him, and then uh, we'll get to it later. He might have had somebody enter his his home and attack his girlfriend. So uh, uh, potential home evasion. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> poor Mike is dealing with a lot right now, man. So you know we're gonna pray for him, but I think. Uh, yeah, I think this is too soon, too soon, Mikey. This might be too soon for you. <laughs> but then again, you know, adrenaline and emotion is a hell of a thing. So, it, you know, maybe he'll come with some superhuman type shit or whatever. But I don't know, man. That, that injury looked real nasty last month. And, I mean, I don't know how Cassius King is going to flow together. They they seem to be a good fit all mm-hmm. all put together. But how will Money Shot work with the Duke and and Eric? Are they going to come out, you know, being this great fit, or there could there be some struggles? Could there be some some even communication issues? But at the same time, you have you have four dudes who haven't exactly worked together. Mikey, who has been up against bulking season quite a lot, and yeah, and, and there's probably some trust issues there, right? There. And Sam's just like a new guy. He's uh, See, Sam, Sam's a wild card, so it's I don't think they. I won't say you worry about him as much if I was like bulking season as I would worry about Mikey because if they've been like damn near feuding for I don't know how long. So that's that's like an interesting dynamic right there. Sam is, you know, then he's newer and he's just ready to punch somebody in the face. So it might work in their favor right there, though. Yeah, I, there's a, just so much going into this. Um Kind of sucks the tag titles won't be on the line at Absolution, but you still have this like a culmination of uh, of a story because it was you know Bitcoin boys they beat bulking season for the titles. Mm-hmm. <sighs> but yeah, I was kind of hoping like the tag titles would have been on the line, but this this might be even better because multiple stories playing into it. So yeah, I think it is it's gonna be interesting just. Hopefully, Mikey ain't rushed back. That's just that's what I'm thinking about right now. He got a lot on his plate right now. Who who do you got? <sighs> I think it's gonna pain for me to say this. Uh, I think I'm a. I think Cassius King might have a number this round. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. I think it's the Mikey injury. Uh, Artie with the guitar shot. 
it's a funny picture, but you know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> then you got Duke out there with them, you know, hopefully they got something that they sleeve to combat it, but yeah, I'm going to go with cash is King on this round. Yeah. I'll, I'll tend to agree with you. The there's, it's the, the Duke factor, which granted, like I know he's an official part of this match, but the, the Duke always has something planned. Yeah. Too many, like, there's a lot of factors to, you know, deal with and running off emotion and injury and all that stuff. It, it might just be a little bit too much for them, too too quick. So, yeah, roll with cash is king. All right, let's, uh, let's move into our first title match. Derek Dillinger versus Wes Barkley for the AIW Intense title. This is, there's a lot going in on this one. Uh, I will, I'll be there live, but I'm going to be curious of what's going to be on the promo package because this goes far back as, you know, go for broke and the um, Chandler Biggins tournament. So just two years of these two just going at each other. Yeah, like uh, I was there for the Biggins tournament, so I saw that and then I'm uh, trying to, you know, get familiar with the product uh, starting off with uh, watching go for broke. So yeah, they just been some form of fashion. They wind up around each other, beating the hell out of each other. Um, it's going to be like a, this is, this is going to be, it's, it's going to be tough to see. Um, Derek basically had a stranglehold on, um, he had a stranglehold on that title since he won it AJ lit. So Wes going to have to come correct, try to take it out of, take it off of him. But I don't know. Like uh, Derek Ben. Derek been like on another level, another level since he got that title. But you know, West Bend, uh, ever since he redeemed himself against Cardona, uh, hell on earth, you know, he, he's been locked in, focused. You know, just trying to uh, carve a path of, uh, for himself as well. So it's gonna be a hell of a dog fight. I think when this all started out, Derek was at, at, a, at a disadvantage. It was West that was pulling everything off and being the the winner. And mm-hmm. then everything changed uh, at the Fonzie tournament last year. And, yeah. and Derek has now flipped the coin. And he's the one that's been on top. So the question is, like, will this be just another day in this uh, reign of Derek? Of not even just uh, being the champion, but just having that advantage, having that being that much better than Wes Barkley, or will this be the day that Wes finally flips it back to the way it was before? He finally gets to win. Yeah, that's a psychological hole, man. It can be, it, it can really set you back. But yeah, I forgot about the, the Fonzie tournament, too. I, they, I wouldn't even expect him, uh, uh, Wes to, I didn't even think uh, Wes was going to be in there, but, you know, short notice, uh, filling short notice, whatever. But, you know, Derek has been, on another level, scramble matches, all that, just one up with them. So we're going to find out Saturday, man. He's going to have to, uh, West going to have to come with something new, a different intensity to take that title up off of him. And I would just assume uh, Derek isn't going to have the advantage in his corner that he normally has. I yeah, would, yeah. Yeah. I would go, is- I would go to say that this match is towards the end of the show, if not you know, right before your match. Yeah. That means Ziggy's already going to have her match. Mm-hmm. And depending on what, <laughs> <laughs> depend, hey, after seeing the damn video, uh, depending on what happened to her in match, you know, she may not even be in the building. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, like, yeah, I didn't even think about that factor either. So it's just going to be no distractions, no, no Ziggy, you know, just straight one-on-one. And hell, depending on what happens between Bishop and Filthy, Bishop might not even be available. He might be too too beat up from his match. Yeah, well, yeah. So it's gonna be straight one on one. No, no, no help, no distractions, none of that. So yeah, this is what's going to come with it, man. Derek got to focus. You know, I mean, which he, you know, he's been getting it done. I, I know he's capable of getting it done without Ziggy, but you know, you being you being. Uh, have somebody in your hip pocket for so long and they're not there, you become so accustomed to certain things. But, you know, he should be able to hold his own. I mean, I'm not saying that, you know, if it wasn't for Ziggy, Derek wouldn't win his matches, but there's probably definitely been some times that he is aided from that benefit of her being there. 
Oh yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, it's def it's definitely a always a help. But you know, we definitely gonna find out Saturday, man. Who do you got, Derek or Wes? I think Derek gonna retain. Like I don't. I say he been he been on some, he been on some other shit since he won that title. And uh, between him and Paul London flinging the trash around, <laughs> like uh, <laughs> them matches, man, I get the hell out the way. I watch from a distance, but I think it'll be a good one. But I think Derek gonna pull it out. When those matches happen, you just try to get to a whole different room and throw it up on uh, on fight so you can watch it that way. Yeah, I, I've just been lucky the last couple times I haven't wrestled after them because that game garbage juice fling, flinging out. It's very disturbing. Yeah. But luckily, I, I don't know. Uh, well, Paul knows not in this match, whatever. Hopefully, no garbage gets flung around. But we'll see. They might surprise us. <sighs> this is a tough one. I could see either of them winning. But I, I don't know what Derek's absolution record is. And especially after last year, I think this is going to, this is going to be a, his big absolution win. Uh, or his first big absolute win. He could could have more going down the road. But, yeah, he, losing in the main event last year, this will be his redemption piece. Yeah. yeah it seems like he, he's been s- sitting out to, you know, redeem himself. So, uh, ever since they lit, man, he's been, been been on that mission. It just focus, just, just like just like, like you said, Don was earlier. Like, um, have, has Derek lost? Oh, yeah, well, last night, yeah. The singles matches, I don't think. Can't, I can't remember, but yeah, he he been focused on getting everything back in blood. All right, let's move on to the next one. One that you're a little closer to, Jocelyn Navarro versus Ziggy Heim. And these two, <laughs> these two, uh, like, they're, they are, for the most part, AIW's women's division. Uh, when I did have Jocelyn on here, when we talked about uh, the Kent show, she mm-hmm. stated, and it was true, still true to this day, Ziggy has never beaten her, ever. Mm-hmm. So that's a thing to remember. But um, there's normally been good competition between them, uh, respect between them. And with Ziggy stealing a win, that was enough for Jocelyn. Yeah, she Jocelyn's a, she's a sore loser. Um, so I'm not surprised at the, at the reaction. Um, especially how Ziggy got the win. So I was, yeah, I was more sh- shocked at the sportsmanship. And then like, when it happened, I was like, oh, okay, well, this, this, right, this is happening. So I mean, Ziggy got to, I don't know, she just got to be, uh, be on her P's and Q's for this one. Uh, she picked up a lot of momentum over like the last few months. And, uh, after everything that's been going on the last, couple weeks you know just like with mikey she might that emotion might you know might help her or it might hurt her so i'm definitely interested to find out though and this really this really opens something up with jocelyn she is giving a less of a fuck than she ever has to oh the- yeah like, <laughs> like i told you man like i see it more than y'all like she's a sore loser <laughs> so like, <laughs> like but you know, it she's very competitive. Like no like nobody likes to lose. And, you know, I, I get it, you know, but you know, it's a lot of she has like a lot of uh frustration or pent up frustration, you know. She and rightfully so, she feels um she's like head head and shoulders head and shoulders above a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And, you know, she's underlooked and, you know, it is starting to come out and that's trouble for whoever she can ring with because, you know, a lot of people haven't seen that mean streak in her. And which is, it's, it's funny to say that because a lot of people feel like, you know, she has a little, she's shown a little bit of mean streak or whatever, but y'all haven't really fully seen it. <laughs> Saturday is going to be a whole different ball game. I mean, we've, we've, we've already see, seen her show up at uh, Ziggy's residence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Show that she's she's not fucking around. Yeah, yeah. got to be more careful, man. Got to be more careful entering your own home. It's yep, home invasions. You know, 
Jim Meeks, she, you know, you never know when jobs are gonna pop up. So hopefully that hopefully that fuels Ziggy, you know, get her get her to that next level. But if it don't, it's gonna be an ugly sight. Should I make you have to pick between Jocelyn and Ziggy, or do do, do we kind of figure you, we know where you're going, or, or are you going to say yeah. Ziggy, and then she's going to bust into the, your room and whip your ass? Yeah, I don't want those problems. We know where I'm going with this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm trying to make it to Saturday, too. Uh, yeah, I'm going with Jocelyn. Uh, like, what her, her feeling like she has something to prove now, or, you know, she feels slighted now, and she feels like the, the, the W got stolen from her. Oh, it's just, yeah, it's not going to be pretty. I I don't normally go up against Jocelyn uh, in picks, and this, this is going to be like any other. I'm, I'm not going up against Jocelyn. Uh, number one, I don't want her showing up in my residence and kicking my ass. But I have been a longtime supporter of Jocelyn and a uh, huge supporter in Jocelyn 187. So... We're gonna we're going Jocelyn Navarro too. Yeah, no home evasions. No more home. <laughs> All right, I guess uh, there's only one more match left. Got the main event for the absolute title, and a match that you're even closer to than the previous. Yeah. Matt Cardona with Steph Delander and Bill Alfonso versus you, Isaiah Broner. Hey, yes, sir. It's a long, long time coming, man. But I'm. Definitely looking forward to this. Definitely, definitely, man. Especially after uh, the injury. So, you know, I've been making my rounds, try to even out the eyes as best as I can. So I got two neck braces. Uh, I think I should be good with the other two. <laughs> I don't think Fonzie, Fonzie don't want no smoke. And uh, I don't think Steph recovered from that head. But so me and a toy sniffer, you know, we're going we gonna to get in there. It's going to be one of but I'm, I'm saying it's going to be one-on-one. So I'm just going to do what I do. Because when C- Cardona won that title, he technically didn't beat you. Yeah. You you were on the outside of the ring. You were injured, couldn't participate. And, mm-hmm. you know, now is your, your time for uh, your piece of the pie. Yeah. Like he immediately, I think it was the next day, and he's like, oh, I want the big man. And like, be careful what you ask for, it, brother. <laughs> so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna give you what you asked for. So yeah, like the the injury happened right before the F five. So you know, B didn't you know, like you said, he didn't pin me, he didn't beat me. You know, we haven't had a one on one. So just be careful what you asked for. So I'm just gonna try to larry that tan up off of him. And you know, last year at Absolution, Cardona had to relinquish the absolute and intense titles because of his injury, and now one year later, he's absolute champion again, and you're coming back from your injury. I mean, not just right now coming back, but, you know, you you were injured previous. Yeah, like, uh, I was here before. Like, I wasn't supposed to be back. It's like, at best, the uh, earliest was supposed to be the end of December. Like, what a, like, you, nobody that comes back that quick from a torn Achilles and a torn calf muscle. So, I got lucky. Um, uh, it's partial tear, but even with partial tears, that's still a four to six month injury as opposed to a year, like for a full rupture. So, you know, I got lucky, been rehabbing my ass off. So, you know, I'm ready, more than ready. So, you know, you better bring his A game Saturday. And I think the biggest thing you have to worry about is Steph and Bill Alfonso. Yeah. And Bill kind of don't. I've seen in his face. Bill don't want those problems. And, uh, yeah, he eliminated himself. So that tells me all <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> I, I didn't, I wasn't even in the ring. He just jumped out. So, you know, Bill don't want those problems. Steph, uh, she, she getting away. I, I got a Larry of her too. So I'm, I'm focused on what I got to get done. I know, I know they got a little game plan. I know what they like to do. I know how they handle their business. I've been watching. Uh, to, to save formed as a collective, so I'm ready for it all. And then, I mean, you kind of have to worry about, but not really. Uh, PME, I say not really nah, because you, yeah, you've just recently taken care of both of them. 
Yeah, they next won't allow them to do much. So, you know, so I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I'm not worried about those. Uh, you know, one one layer to either one of them, and you know, they in the they in the rest home at an early age. So, yeah, I'm not I'm not too much worried about those those two making an appearance. So, so focus on Matt. But I'm gonna have my eyes, you know, eyes in the back of my head. Be a head, have my head on the swivel, prepare for everything. So, uh, t- who do you got in this match? It's a hard choice, but I'm gonna choose myself. Uh, <laughs> I'm going myself. Up. Like, um, I've the biggest hurdle for me was gauntlet and getting over. If anybody anybody's coming back from any significant injury, like the first bump or the first movements, is mentally like those movements are the hardest. I'm past that phase. Um, I feel fine. Like I, like I, I don't feel any, any difference in my 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 legs or anything. Like my left leg actually feels stronger now than it did before. So yeah, I'm going with me. Like I'm not even. That's not even a second guess or anything. New champ Saturday. How uh, the bigger question would be not necessarily how your legs feel and all that kind of stuff. How how does your arm feel? Because if you're gonna you're gonna larry at him. You 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 don't want to break it on him. Oh, it's it's it's, it's more than it's more than fine. <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> he can get it with the right or the left arm. You know, I I throw I haven't thrown out as many left larry left arm larry, but you know I can make an exception for him. I'm I'm an open Cardona fan, but I mean I can I can I can I can throw this little bit tidbit out. Uh, I've tried a, a multiple times to get him on this show. One time recently, I was very close, and we kind of had it scheduled. Well, we had it talked about and things that we're gonna we were gonna work out. His schedule kind of got busy, mm-hmm. kind of got busy, and can't do it, which is fine. Hey, you know, shit happens. I've I've kind of recruited a replacement for the uh, week that I'd want to have him on. Let's see. But Brona, you've been on here twice. You, oh yeah. You've been uh, you've been in person. And, mm-hmm. and now for a preview, and I said I probably I guess I got probably said I have to figure out where uh, I said it. I thought this was going to be your year coming into it, mm-hmm. and that was just going off like what we had seen. And then you had ended the year going up against a champion. It's like oh, then if this is what we saw this year. Wait till next year. Here we are, absolution. Oh, yeah. You're in the title match. Big big fucking match. I'm going with what I've been saying the whole time. Broner wins. Oh yeah, I appreciate that, man. Just trying to, like I said before, make the most of each opportunity. Uh, not being complacent with last year. Uh, very happy with how things been going, but not satisfied by by uh, by the least. Um, I, I approach every every match, every show, like I'm trying to earn the spot. So that's how I'm going out there Saturday, and. Just gonna go out there and give it everything I got. Bring that title back. All right. Any uh, final thoughts or last minute plugs before we go? Uh, I appreciate you for having me on as always. I appreciate the support from you. Uh, appreciate support from everybody. Everybody that checked on me during the injury. Um, get those tickets while you can. Um, they go on really, really, really fast. Uh, make sure you're there for the whole show, not just you know. You know, not just for one particular match. Everybody worked and bust their ass uh, over the over the course of the last year. So everybody that's on the car, even the people that's um, helping with production, um, security, you know, uh, uh, everybody that helps out. It'll mean a lot to everybody for, you know, for us to sell us out, get as many people as possible. You know, uh, that's pretty much it, man. Just looking forward to Saturday. Uh, can't wait, man. And Thanks, thanks again for having me on. You want to throw out your social media? Uh, Isaiah Broner, uh, YouTube, Isaiah Broner, Facebook, and Twitter, Isaiah Broner313 on Instagram. Uh, I'm guessing threads. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I started, I, I opened it today, um, and I haven't looked at it since. So I'll have all the information up uh, sometime later this week because I don't know the exact um I don't know the exact handle because on my Instagram it has a bunch of numbers and I don't remember what it is. But uh, but yeah, just follow me on there. Uh, probably have that new uh, Midwest best 
see for a shirt out Saturday. Probably have a couple of those. Uh, we're going to try to print up a couple of those Jaws on 187 shirts, too. So, yeah, just come out, have fun, meet and greet with Eric Bischoff, come support the, come support the family. Shit, I even forgot about that aspect of it. Normally, I'll talk about the guests, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you got uh, Eric Bischoff gonna be here too. Uh, c- come, I got a couple questions. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can ask a couple questions. But yeah, it's, it's gonna be dope, man. Definitely looking forward to it. Yeah, uh, of course you can find myself at J Summers three three zero on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Hive, and now Threads. Just like you can find the show on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Facebook dot com slash Wrestling Cheers, Twitter dot com slash Wrestling Cheers, and Instagram dot com. Slash wrestling cheers. Email if you so choose to desire wrestling cheers at gmail.com. Like I said earlier in the show, please rate, review, and subscribe wherever you're listening to this fine podcast Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, TuneIn, YouTube, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Amazon Music, or Podbean, wrestling cheers. Podbean.com. All those links can be found in the leak tree in our show notes. But I'll be honest, with the show ending soon, does it really matter? I don't know, but that's just me. But you can check out our other podcast friends, such as Hiya Pussy, a wrestling adjacent podcast, Super Fantastic Podcast, It's Evolution Baby, The Indie Cast, Sobros Network, Biff Radio, Gay Marks Podcast, Powerbomb Jitsu, Power Driver Podcast, Fully Posable, Positively Pro Wrestling, Indie Wrestling Guide, If You Catch My Grift, Marks with Mics, Juggalo Rewind, 20 by 20 rewind X over and this ends at prom. Check out our other non-podcasting friends, such as the mystery men, Redline radio mouse's wrestling adventure, VHS party tonight on Instagram and connected to that danger zone video in Juliet, Tennessee ran by our friend, righteous Jesse heart of gold toy, Ohio toy show time capsule toys, smoke and Jace barbecue 20 by 20 apparel, JCP designs, Midwest territory, if it still exists, Southern Underground Pro and the official graphic designer of Wrestling Cheers, Moy Boy Designs. That will do it for us here on Wrestling Cheers, where everybody knows your name. And this Saturday, Matt Cardona has a problem. Later. Yes, sir. <laughs> It's the wrestling cheers. Get up on your feet. Praying in your day in the middle of the week. And yeah, you gotta love the show. Yeah, you know it holds a title for the best podcast. Talking wrestling in Ohio. Finishing a cold one. Take a load off. We ain't all about the prohibition like Josh. So we cheers. And then we sit back. Other shows are in the trash, kinda like they Nick Stapp. Like the name is Matt Justice, wearing all the gold. Wrestling Cheers is coming to a close. The number one podcast going in the game. And one day, everybody's gonna know the name. It's the Wrestling Cheers. This is Platinum Max, signing off. Ohio, good night. The world, good night. We love you. We'll see you next week.